Thank you for watching the Hexbot channel, where you get to the point music making tutorials and original music uploaded every Monday. If you haven't, click subscribe and the bell icon for notifications. Installing plugins is kind of a pain. I mean, it's fun because you're installing new stuff, but the tedious part comes from waiting and double clicking and granting permissions, or even worse, dragging VSTs into the correct location. Luckily, software developers have realized this and streamlined the process lately. Whether it's for copy protection, ease of use, or branding, brand-wide installers are the new thing. My first experience with this trend is Native Instruments Native Access. Let's find out if it sucks. First of all, let's talk installation. No problems whatsoever getting this thing going. At first, coming from Control Center, and hating to install software, I thought it was gonna be a nightmare. Do any of you remember installing complete? That was a lot of DMGs to manage. But this is just one package, which leads us to ease of use. It really couldn't get any simpler or cleaner to manage your installation. After it has you sign in, it knows what you have available to install under not installed, and there are also tabs for available updates to products that you've already installed. It has another tab for products you've already installed. It's just like Control Center, but it's way more streamlined. I've never used a more effective or simple installer. In contrast, XLN Audio has an installer, but it feels very clunky compared to Native Access. Plus it has advertisements to follow them on social media, as well as installed demos which I think takes away from the user experience. Native Access even looks better than other installers. I like the images that they use for every product and how they span through the experience in applications like Complete Control. Native Access has a very clean interface which does not get cluttered with social media calls to action or demo offers. When you're downloading something, the product square turns gray there's a download progress meter, as well as pause and cancel options. It gives you a lot of feedback as to what's going on under the hood, which is a lot. In fact, the native instruments installer automatically cleans up DMGs once they're through running. That is unless the whole program crashes like it did for me midway through my installation. Everything still worked, but I had to go through and find and delete the DMGs manually. While that's not that big of a deal, it harkens back to the old days of installing software, which I used to hate. In contrast, the TuneTrack installer will ask you if you want to delete the DMGs manually, but I couldn't think of any reason to keep them around. Overall, the process was very smart and forward thinking. To illustrate this intelligence, it's nice that these installers already know what's on your system. This prevents them from creating duplicate files on your system. It also educates you with mouse over actions to let you know what new software you're installing in case you've just updated your version of complete and you have no idea what you're putting on your computer like drum lab in my case. Nevertheless, there are some corrections to be made. One thing I'd like to see in these installers is something that predicts your needs. I have the same opinion about this for DAWs, but this is a little bit different. If the software knows what's on your system before it installs it, then why can't it do a quick, stand, a quick scan beforehand to save you the trouble of downloading a 12 gigabyte contact library? I'm not sure why Tractor has to be downloaded in Service Center, but it definitely interrupts the smooth, seamless experience. Speaking of seamless experiences, having a hard time finding good information on YouTube to get you back to music making as quick as possible well, you have found the right channel. I make music making tutorials that get to the point and give you a dash of the old humor. I also make music myself, which you can check under the official music playlist, as well as the 8-Bar Embryos playlist, which contains tracks dedicated to me trying to improve my skills. I also have a Patreon, which gives you early access to content, additional resources, and for big donors, Will, you can get private lessons as well as hand engraved sheet music. If you sign up for the Hexydose newsletter, I'll send you free music every month 
as well as let you know when I upload new content. So thanks for watching. Click subscribe, give me a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.